and joining me now live on Fort Indians on deck, Ubaldo Jimenez. Ubaldo, thanks for taking the time today. Boy, yesterday we talked about it before the season started that you were ready to go out there and have a good start, and you did that. What was working for you? I think uh, since the first piece of the game, I was able to locate uh, my passport. I was getting ahead in the count and staying ahead. And I think the, uh, the main thing was that I threw all my breaking ball for a strike. Yeah, the breaking balls were working well. And when you have a performance like you did yesterday, because of ball, though, let's be honest, you, you know people out there talking about you being an ace. You know it was a big trade. These Indians fans want to see what you can do. So having that good start yesterday, how much does, does that relieve any pressure at all moving on? Or do you not even think about that? Uh, to tell you the truth, I mean, I'm a human being. Of course, I, I, I'm going to be thinking about what other people think sometimes. But uh, uh, you, you're always good to have a good style like that. I mean, it's going to give you more confidence for your next game and for the whole season. Is there any doubt in your mind you could pretty much do that when you take the ball every single time? No, no, there's no, there's no doubt. Uh, I mean, if I'm healthy, like I said before, I mean, uh, that's the only thing I, I think about, like just to be healthy, to stay healthy, and uh, I'm going to be capable of doing that if I am hurt. Apollo, how does a starting pitcher, like let's say Masterson, for example, he pitched lights out on opening day, nothing to show for it individually, and then the team loses. Yesterday, you pitched lights out, nothing to show for it, and you guys are 0-2. How difficult is that to know that you guys pitched well, but yet you're 0-2? You know, that's part of the game. This is baseball. Uh, sometimes you're going to pitch good and you're not going to win, but sometimes you're probably going to allow a couple runs and the team is going to be there for you. That's uh, that's the fun part about baseball. You never know what's going to happen. But the thing is, like, uh, we have a really good team and they, uh, the bats are going to go. Uh, hopefully, uh, they're going to start hitting really soon. Now, you say hopefully. Is there concern that they won't or do you have every feeling that this offense will come around. Yeah, they, they will come around. I just say hopefully that they're <laughs> going to start right right away soon. Yeah. Like, uh, uh, but it, I mean, we have a really good line. There's no doubt about like, the guys, uh, they're going to get uh, warm and they're going to start hitting really good. Okay, you have the five-game suspension. You have now dropped the appeal, so you will pitch again on Saturday. You would have pitched Friday, I believe, so just one day there. Why did you go ahead and decide to drop that appeal? We just want to get, uh, get, uh, get it out of the way we don't want to be thinking about or taking much time about dealing with that thing we just want to uh, just get ready for my second game I mean it's only five five days I'm only gonna miss one day so it's not a big deal okay. let's talk about Derek Lowe now taking the hill for the Indians today you and Masterson came out very strong any question he won't do the same today because a lot of Indians fans don't know a lot about him he's a veteran he's been around the block you expect him to I, I guess what does he bring to the table from what you've seen that's the thing. Like he's a he's a veteran guy. He has a lot of experience. He's not he's not scared to go out there and compete. Uh, he's gonna make his pitches. I mean, if he's around the zone, he's gonna be good uh, every single game because he's, he knows how to pitch. Ubaldo Jimenez, thanks for taking the time here on Indians on Deck. Okay, thank you. Good luck in your next start.